what is your college grade point average? What is your GPA when you are doing your bachelor degree, master's, PhD? What is your college result? Do they matter at all after finishing school? I'm not talking about primary school, secondary school, high school. I'm not talking about those grades. I'm talking about university education. What is your college education result? And do they matter, really matter, when you finish your school? That is the topic of the day. Welcome, this is Ernest Boniface Makulilo EBM, and I want to have this discussion. You and I, together, we can figure out, and especially if you are studying right now, you need to know how much emphasis, how much energy you need to put in your education, whether you get first class, upper second class, whatever, does it matter, especially the life, the real life, after finishing college does it matter and especially if you're in africa or even here in the us or europe does it matter what is the life post education life okay so have you subscribed first of all let me ask you the quick question if you haven't please do that do that right now i'm appreciating for those who have subscribed already we are in now 24,000 subscribers and I hope we can reach the goal of a half million subscribers in the next five years. So just go ahead, subscribe right now and let's continue with the topic of the day, which is grade point average. From primary school, people study so hard. They have their old dreams. I have to go to the university. Majority of people. I have to study hard, go to secondary school, high school, whatever. Study so hard so that you can reach at the university. But I remember some people, we are thinking that after reaching at the university, I reach everything, I'm done. Maybe some, they don't study hard. Some, they get challenges. Some, because in secondary school, you have what we call tuition classes. Or after school programs, you can go and pay someone and teach you extra classes. But at the university level, there is no that kind of lifestyle. Of many teachers have the small after school program, you pay them, they teach you. So life is changing. So some people, they do, do, do not know like if the GPA is very important. So they don't care much. Some people, they do not know what even what is GPA after arriving at the university. Some people end up like okay they want to obsess i have to get all a's so it's just like a mix of so many things but what really matters in the university especially at the current situation the current real life of capitalism there are two things which are very important number one is what is your overall goal going to school going to college and what is your overall goal after finishing that if your plan is after school i have to go to graduate school masters or possible phd later there is no exception you have to study hard you have to make sure that you get very good results get at least upper second class because in larger percent most of the scholarships if you want, you're looking for scholarships, they prefer people with upper second class. Without that, you don't get it. If it's lower second, but it has to be lower, close it to upper second class. That's, you have to know that. But on the second part, you might not plan to go for graduate school. But you, because you haven't figured out everything in the future. You might say, okay, my job, my plan is just, I'm finishing, I'm studying law, I'm becoming a lawyer, that's all. But down the road, you are going to work for the government for five years. After five years, they say, okay, but in order to promote you to become senior, you must have masters. And you go back to look at your, your grades, they are very minimal. You cannot even be admitted in your own country. Let Forget about the scholarship. So, my advice is, whether you are looking for scholarships, whether you are planning to do graduate school, whether you are not, make sure that you get good results. That's number one, and that's supposed to be that way. But don't go too much obsessed to the extent that you miss 
the real life of the world. Because in the real life, let's say you study marketing, you make you are working so hard to get all A's. Yes, you get all A's. But if you you are going to look for a job and you are planning to find a good job, many people don't like to have all these people with all smart with all A's because did you have any real life at the university level? Did you go to just other events like other organizations, volunteering, even teaching, or doing something even for pay, even if it's part-time? Did you have that time, other life, be beyond just going to the lecture room, library, to your room, triangle life? Did you have that any kind of out of that? Someone will question, if this guy even had a girlfriend or boyfriend, like, this person, this girl, did he have the boyfriend? Why? Like... Yes, it's good to get AIDS, but don't get too much obsessed. You block the entire world. You do not have even a phone number of any person outside of your classroom. You need to have that kind of network. That's why people are wondering, oh, but I graduated, I don't have... I know some people, someone had like almost a first class, and two years doesn't have a job. But there are some people, they don't have first class, but because they had a network, they went volunteering to some organization while they are studying. They went to do some sort of other activity. If there is an event at the university about maybe human resources are coming, they just go. But for you, you are just concentrating on the library. All the time, you lose the time, you lose the opportunity. You are studying computer science, you are studying IT, but your job is just to get too much theoretical and just making sure that you get A's. But someone in the same class is working on how to build apps how to build website so that person is already in the real world yes will not get all a's but has already practical side of making those one and even making money so when you graduate in the real world the person can take off quicker than you so i know we need a good gpa we need good results but don't forget there is a real life which sometimes might not care much about your first class one of my professors who taught me at the University of San Diego already said that if I'm hiring people, if someone comes with all A's, I don't give the job. And it's because it was some, someone was teaching there and he's doing some marketing and all other. I said, like, I believe you didn't, you were saying more like he's studying all the time and forgetting like to do other things. I look like, what kind of association are you? Clubs, volunteering work, part time jobs. What do you work? What do you do outside of the library, outside of your room, outside of being in the classroom? What do you really do in this, in this world, planet Earth? So if you are at the university, yes, study hard. Get all those first class, upper second class. But remember there is a real world. Go to the attend certain activities at the university. Get some clubs. Make sure that you get some volunteering aspect. Find part-time jobs. While I was a teacher, the, while I was, I was a university student, bachelor degree, I used it to go, I was employed to some of, uh, like two schools. I go on my spare time to teach high school. I get paid. So you get work experience, you know some other people who are employers, and at the same time, you get work experience. I started in my I started to have a blog while I was a university student. So I had things to do. Yes, and I got very good results at the, my bachelor degree. But I didn't want to just to be that guy with a very first class or upper second class, but in the end you don't have other things you can show off to you have a, uh, you have accomplished beyond the classrooms you need to have a compliment this side and this side have to complement one another yes your gp is important but is that the only thing will define you obvious not because you can go to the interview someone can just talk about oh uh, I mean, like, it's kind of, maybe you, you find, like, the person over there is wearing maybe a t-shirt, Lakers, or maybe t-shirt for Golden State Warriors. So, 
just look at see a picture of your manager over there and you can because you, you, it is easy to converse because you know basketball you know american football you know soccer you know other things so you need to be outdoors sometimes to know certain things you can carry conversation don't be too much bookish you cannot go along with people because if you're not a people person you'll end up not getting jobs or you'll be fired you can be a professor teaching at the university and the student cannot understand it because you cannot connect with them because you are too much theoretical into books and you cannot even comprehend anything. Or you cannot go along well with the, your co-workers they want to talk about football, talk about basketball, they talk any topic for you just thinking about books like theories. No. You need to have a mixture of all things together. You never know what will take you after that. But soft skills are very, very important than those your GPA and your transcript. That's why I usually tell people, when you are writing your resume, don't put your GPA right away. Because some people can be okay for you to put your first class. Some people, they can drop you down from first point. They see your first class on your GPA. So your first class GPA on your resume can be a good thing or bad thing depending who you do not know the person who is interpreting those results. So make sure that you complement both both of them and don't straightforward on your resume put all those your GPA. Yes, put like okay, I got this award of the best student or something, but don't start putting all your GPA. I got this on my master's. I got first class on this one. Like okay. Okay, this guy cannot be cannot be good accountant. It will be just more bookish guy. Let's forget about it. I want someone who is outgoing. So someone can define your character based on your results, which is bad sometimes. You can be a cool person doing great results in the classroom, but you can be so cool. But some people, they don't have to see that. And especially when we study science, we know that science people are so serious and you come with all your A's and they, how can you judge you? What is your understanding? Uh, what's your opinion if someone comes to you with the first thing in your resume you see is first class or you see, okay, this person got pass, lower second. Okay, are you going to define someone based on the results you see on the paper before you see someone? Are you usually, on your, put on the comment, in your resume, did you put your GPA? If yes, did it help you or hinder you to get good jobs? Let's share your opinion, comments. What is your practice? What is your MO? What is your style of your resume or talking to other people? And for those who have graduated, the results have already, maybe let's say you didn't get first class, you didn't get upper second class, you get lower second, you get past class, your GPA. It's over. Like, don't start like, okay, now your entire life will be defined by that GPA at the university. You didn't get maybe Division 1 in high school. So what? Ten years later, why are you going to hold your entire life basing on things that happened ten years ago? Seven years ago? Let's move on and find different ways on how you can excel and compete and continue with further studies than just holding up, oh, I didn't get first class back. Like, yes, it was ten years ago, for instance, on my case, twelve years ago. Why should I care much about ten years, eleven years ago of GPA? There are so many other things ahead of me I can do beyond that just piece of paper. Okay, so let's hear from you. But remember before you put a comment and you are like this video, remember to share and subscribe in case you haven't done so. So thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to hear from you, get from your comments, things of that nature. Goodbye.